Hello, hello, Coach Phillips here again. I'm gonna do a little plyometric workout for you. Uh, I'm doing it on my driveway. All I'm gonna use are the lines uh, that the concrete was poured on. Maybe you have some lines too. You can put some chalk down if you'd rather do that, uh, but join me. I'm going to start today with a little bit of a warm up. So just start jogging around a little bit. I'm doing this a little bit different where I'm talking over and not teaching while I am working out with you because this one revolves a lot of counting and as I have proven I'm really bad counting and instructing at the same time so we're just going to talk through this as we go so here we are just jogging a little bit work out those hips open them up we're going to do a lot of jumping and movement type stuff so just make sure that we're really loose and limber as we go the whole way through just do some hip rolls work yourself down whatever your flexibility is we're just going to warm it up a little bit so now we're gonna move on, we're gonna do some high knees. So just drive them up a little bit. Maybe you can't do the high knees entirely and you just need to step higher, that is fine. We're gonna do some butt kicks. So 20 of them. And you're just gonna tap your legs back behind you. If you don't like the pounding, you can just do the tap back, that is great. So just a couple more butt kicks. Great, now we're gonna do what we call open the gate and close the gate. So you're just gonna open one leg and close the other leg, open and close. This is great for hip flexibility and mobility. Just do them back and forth, make sure we're nice and warm all the way through. If you need to do it a little bit slower than what I'm doing, that is fine, that is great. Make sure that you are balanced and you are under control. In whatever pace you need to go, we're gonna go back to the jogging. We're gonna go through that warm-up routine again. So in a second, we're gonna start with the high knees. Here we go, 20 of them, go. Again, if just taking steps is a little bit easier for you and you don't like the pounding, that's fine. We're gonna to go to the, to the butt kicks now. Just nice, easy taps. Great job, now to the open the gate and close the gate. Just a reminder what the movement is. Go for it. Awesome, wrap it up. Nice, good, you should start feeling really limber. We're gonna do the whole thing one more time to make sure we're really stretched out. All right, 20 high knees again. Ready, here we go. Just drive them up, take them easy, nice and easy steps. Just make them comfortable, whatever your pace is. And then the butt kicks again, here we go. Good, so we're just doing 20 of them. And then one more set of open the gates and close the gates and we'll be ready to get right into the actual workout component. So when you're doing this, make sure that you're nice and straight. You're not hunching over. Your posture is good and aligned. I'd rather you have lower leg movements um, and correct posture than bending over in the top half of your body, trying to get that higher knee and then incorrectly doing the move because of poor posture. So we're focusing on all of it together, making the whole body work as one. Awesome. So now just stretch out your hips a little bit more. Lean to the side, lean to the other side. We're going to stretch out those hip flexors and then our calves. And then we're going to get going with our first round of plyometrics. Push your hips forward. You should feel it, feel it in your whole hip flexor area. Lean back, push your hips forward. Great, now we're gonna turn, I'm gonna turn to the side and show you how to stretch your calves. So do it with both a bent leg and then with a straight leg, you'll feel it in different parts of your calves and do which one feels the best for you. I like alternating between the two. So again, I'm starting with a bent knee and then straighten my knee. All right, we should be about ready to go. Loosen up just a little bit more. So the first thing we're gonna do is jumping jacks. We're gonna do 20 of them. If you wanna go at my pace, you can. You can just do the step outs to the side too. So 20 of them, maybe you can go faster, maybe you need to go a little slower, maybe you're just doing the step outs. Whatever works best for you to feel successful. Just a couple more here. Great job, keep it up, way to go. 
Now we're gonna do a little um, drive. So put one leg back and it's gonna push yourself up as you go. So you're just pulling through, up and down. So we're gonna do 10 each side. If you don't like the pounding, you can just do the step up and pull. Good job. Here's four. Make sure you get your balance every time that you're doing it. If you need to be by a wall and hold on for balance, that is great. Good job. I like to use my arms to drive myself through. Now we're gonna switch to the other side. I just twist so that you can see. I can't jump as high on this one, so this is where I might just drive up with my knee instead of actually trying to get off of the ground. And there it is, a little demo right there. Again, if balance is a problem with you, you can go and hold onto a wall or a chair. So now we're gonna do what I call the 10 and two twist. So facing at 10, facing at two, use that line. You're just twisting your body. This is great for the core. So a total of 20 jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Keep going. If you need to go slower to make sure you have the control, that is perfectly fine. Just make sure that you are under control. There's our stop. So now we're going to do one of my all-time favorite moves. It is a side lunge and then a side pull. So I'm gonna lunge to the side and reach the sky. And then I'm gonna come back up and then squeeze the side of my abs together there. All right, so here we go, 10 each side. So lunge down and go up and then squeeze in there. This is another balance component. So if you need some help with it, you can certainly use a wall to help you with some balance as well. But down, if you don't like the rotation, you don't have to do it. You can even push up off your knees some if you need to. That is perfectly fine. But if we can go down and do the full reach, that is the optimal position if you can make it happen. Great job, now same move, just the other side. So remember, we're gonna lunge down and then reach up to the sky if you can and then pull yourself through for 10 of them. Here we go, down and up. Now again, as always, if you need to go slower than what I'm doing, that is fine. Uh, just do it for the duration of the time that I'm doing. If you need to do, go slower because of balance issues, you can have something to hold on to if you need that, if that would help as well. So it's again, and when you go down, um, make sure that you're not putting too much pressure on your knee. So that's where you can use your hand like I did right there to help kind of push yourself up. And then when you're squeezing right here, ugh, it's kind of like you're squeezing that side of your body together. And that is the end of that first cycle. Now we're gonna do five push-ups just before we go back into it again. So make sure you're in good plank position. If you need to put your knees down and do them on your knees, that's great. I'm gonna do them up on my toes. We're just gonna go down and up. I like to go down and try to touch my chest and nose to the ground if I can. Um, we're just doing five and then we're gonna get back started again with that same rotation all the way through. We're doing at each circuit three times. So we're back out to the 20 jumping jacks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good job, keep it up. And great job. Now we're gonna do those knee drives again. So we're going down and up, down and up. So propel yourself upwards if you can. If you wanna just step, you can do that too. If you need to hold on to something for balance, make sure you're doing that. It's about safety and what you need to do to find yourself successful during this all. So great job. Other side, here we go. Get in good position and drive it up. I can do one side better than the other, so I'm gonna drive up as I can. And great job. Back to my favorite, this 10 and two. I feel this so much in my core. A total of 20, I guess 40 jumps, but ready? Here we go. One, two, three, 
before. And the idea here is to make sure that you try to get across that line. So I like to use the line as guidance uh, to make sure that I'm twisting all the way that I want to, keeping my chest kind of squared forward as I go. Good job. Now that side bend lunge. Remember, we're going down and reach to the side, back up with the squeeze. Here we go. We go down and open, come back up and squeeze. Down and open, back up and squeeze. So I'm breaking apart the segments a little bit more this time around so that you can see that it's several different moves, not just one fluid movement. That might take a little pressure off of your knee as you're going down to the side. It'll kind of stop some of that momentum. Great job, last one. Let's go to the other side now. Same movement, so we're going down to the side. We reach up, pull yourself back up, and then squeeze together. Here we are, good job. I like to kind of try to twist and look to the sky if I can. Maybe you can't do that with your rotation and that's fine, but that's kind of my goal. Um, it's a comfortable twist for me. So maybe you find something to kind of focus on each time you do that twist. So you kind of have a goal to go to. If you lose balance like I just did, that's fine. Just regain it and join back in. And great job. Now we're gonna go down to those five more push-ups. So again, whatever level you need to do, you can go a little bit wider grip, a closer grip, five of them. Good job. Three, four, give me one more. All right, good job. Now back in for that last circuit of the same four moves that we have been doing, and we'll get going. So the jumping jacks, here we go. Ready, here we go, out. Good job. So again, if jumping isn't good for you, you can just do the step touch out and in. Perfectly fine. Find success as you do it. Great job. All right, those knee drives. Here we go. Ten this side. Remember, pull it up, and here we go. Ten of them. There's ten. So this time I lost my balance already. We're just going up and down. I'm not even taking off the ground. I'm just kind of trying to go up on my toes if I can. Um, that's really working my calf as I'm doing it. Uh, still a great workout. Definitely still feeling the burn. And it actually tested my balance a little bit more than, than actually driving off the ground. Switch sides. And here we go. So I am going to jump up on this one. It's about reading your body and knowing what's right for you. Great job. Back to 10 and two. Find your line. I'm just gonna twist. If you just wanna do a step touch to turn, that's fine too. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, really twist that body, twist that body, work that core. Find something to focus on so you're keeping yourself facing forward. And just twist, 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 twist. Really great job. And then last one of those side lunges. So remember we go down reach up and pull in here we go
great job one more squeeze all right and just about to finish it up good job now let's switch to the other side ten this way and then we're done with these good job and then squeeze don't forget to squeeze up there also just a reminder do not let your leg flop down so it's under control the entire time And last one, great job. So now we're gonna get in for our push-ups. I'm gonna do a close grip push-up now, so I'm gonna keep them right in by my rib cage. So here we are, five. You can put your knee down, one knee, two knee, whatever you need to do to find that success. Two, these are harder for me. Three, good job. Four, one more. All right, good job. Now we're going to wiggle a little bit. We're going to start into our second circuit. This next circuit, we are putting one foot in front of the line and one foot behind the line, and it's just a jump to twist or jump to switch feet as you go, okay? If you don't like the jumping, you can just do a touch in front, 20 of them. All right, ready? Get set up. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Good job. And I like to use my arms. Um, you want to try to be light on your feet as you're doing it and not being super pounding and not skidding your shoes a whole lot. Good job. Excellent work. So the next move here is just going to do a sumo squat. So you're just coming down with your toes kind of pointed at an angle. I'm turning sideways so you can see that I'm still upright. But all you're going to do is some nice little sumo squats. So you're just here and you're just jumping up. So ten of them. Ready? One, two, three. Four. Good. And remember, I'm staying back. I'm not leaning too far forward as I'm doing it the whole time. If you don't like the jumping, just go up and down. This next move may be a little bit tricky. It's a crossover. Up and over, up and over. So that can be the basic move. That's all you have to do. But if you can add a little jumpy to it, it's just a little jump. It's kind of a little rhythmic jump. So we're going to do ten. And then we're going to switch to the other side. So we're going to do one and two and three and four. Again, you can just do the touching and not do the little jumping part if you want to, like I demonstrated. Good job. And wrap it up. Now the other leg. So I'm going to show you here again. So you're just going to go up and over. That's what your move can be if you don't want to add the jumping into it. But you can add the jumping. Here we go for ten. One, two, three, four. Good job. Keep it up. And great job. Great job. So this one is quite a balanced one. So you might need to find something to hold on to. Um, a wall, a chair, something like that. You're stabilizing one leg. You're leaning back and outstretching it. And then forward and outstretching it. So you're holding your body upright the whole time. And you're just acting like a hinge. So here we go. Ten total go-throughs. Out and back. Now if you can't extend your stealth your leg out quite as far in the front um, that's fine I would rather you have a shorter range of that extension than um, hunching over your back to try to accommodate so just do whatever your range allows for if you need to put your foot down in between to help your balance please do that and again there's always the balance option of holding onto a wall or a chair if you're struggling maintaining your balance without that so really good job. I like to try to find a focal point. When I don't find a focal point, then I get all crazy and lose my balance. Same thing, other side, hold on. Here we go, out and through. So you can see me staring straight ahead there at um, something ahead of me. I don't know what it is. I probably chose a leaf or a rock. That really just helps me maintain my balance as I do it. Again, if you need to slow down to work on your balance a little bit more, Please do that, um, but this is something I've been working on. Balance has become a huge area of focus for me. Really good job. All right. 
eight. Oh, way to go. Okay, so now we're gonna give ourselves a little break. We're gonna do 20 punches at the side. So right here, you're pivoting those bottom feet, really working on your core as you're doing it. You wanna make sure you move those feet so that you don't twist your knee in an awkward area either. Good job. Whew. All right, so now we're gonna punch down. Again, stepping out. Ready, here we go, 20 of them. So it does a little cardio, a little change of pace, but still a little bit of plyometrics because you're moving those feet. Really good. And we're gonna finish up with some uppercuts here. So we're gonna do some 20 uppercuts. So the way you do that, you just swing it up, swing it up again, pivoting those feet, 20 of them. Good job. Make sure you don't punch too hard. You don't have anything to stop you, so you don't want to hurt your arms by swinging too, too much. Good job. All right, that's the end of the first circuit. Let's do it all again. So remember those, those crisscross taps, however it works for you. 20 of them, and here we go. So unlike the 10 and 2 in the first series, I'm not twisting my hips. I want my hips to stay square facing forward the whole time I do this. Great, so now the sumo squats. Good posture, make sure your chest is as upright as you can make it. Just up and down. Really good. All right, those up and overs. Take your time to figure out what you're doing. You can just tap, remember. Great job. Also a little dancey, you can add some arm motions in, more synchronized than mine if you want to. Way to go. Let's do the other side. We're wrapping it up, really good job. Now those little leg swing throughs. I haven't come up with a name of those yet, but where we kick out and then swing all the way back and through. Find balance if you need to. We go out and all the way in. Now when I'm going, I'm trying to keep a straight line with my back. So even if my leg can't go fully backwards, I only hinge so that I'm at a full uh, straight line if possible. If you lose your balance, that's fine. Just pick back up and go at your own pace and come back into it. Great job. I almost lost it there. Gotta finish strong. I do these sometimes with some ankle weights if I want to really up the game a little bit. If I put ankle weights on, I do the whole workout with ankle weights though because then I really don't like that Velcro noise velcroing them on and off on and off so I do these sometimes obviously it's a little bit more difficult it challenges my balance a little bit more too almost there you see me focusing on something on my garage door all right so now back to those punches I'm gonna go straight through them not stopping to explain so here we go five six seven eight nine ten ten nine four three take it down here we go ten nine eight seven six five four we're gonna go right into uppercut here we go up up Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, five, four, three, two, one. Third time through that second circuit. Let's go again. Back and forth. Here we go. Ooh, that's a really good one. I love that one. That and 10 and 2 together really works your, your whole lower body and core. Sumo squats, 
work it. Here we go. Really good job. If you can jump higher, jump higher. If you just need to go up and down, just go up and down. All right, that crisscross over. Good job. Remember, you don't need, have to add that bounce if that's causing you some trouble, but you certainly can. Other side, this is the last round of this. Great job, almost there, almost there. All right, Whew. forward and back, forward and back. Here we go, last set, really challenge yourself here. Out and lean forward, out and lean forward. Great job. So see that hinge, my back is not really moving and the hinge angle is about the same from my actual waist all the way up my back. So I'm not dropping my shoulders as I'm doing it. Great job. All right, switch side, last round of these total. We got this, out and back, way to go. Almost done. Tell my students, you got this, come on, push through it, you can do anything. I'm telling you that now too. All right, come on. Yes. Oh. Nice work. Punches, then we will finish up with a stretch. Good job. Make sure you're twisting those bottom legs. Your feet, you don't want to keep them stable on the ground. Right into it. Step out, step out. If you can't go down, all the way down, you don't have to bend down quite as far. Do what's comfortable for you. We're going to finish this up with an uppercut series. You guys know it. Ready? Here we go. Uppercuts. Great. Great. Great job, everybody. Oof. Definitely need to finish up with some stretching, so shake it out a little bit. If you're not used to doing some of these jumps, so all we're doing here is just a step back, opening the chest, and really working on those hip flexors again. Stretching out the lower leg, the calf also, as we're stepping back. I love this stretch. This is just kind of a whole body stretch here. This is something that's great to do, just getting up off the couch in the middle of a TV show and doing it, or taking a break from doing classwork, schoolwork, homework, whatever. It's a great full body stretch and really opens up the front part of your body there that we tend to kind of collapse into when we work and sit and watch TV and all that good stuff. But if you're not used to the jumping and whatnot, your legs might be a little bit sore tomorrow. So we definitely are giving you a little stretch out here. We do five each side. So we're just staying on the same side. Four. Good. Three really try to extend and feel it stretching all the way down that side great great job the other side really stretch it out there great job we're gonna go and work those calves stretch out those calves one more time Really, hopefully they feel a little bit good for you here. So we're going backwards with a straight leg and then the bend of the leg. So it works two different parts of your calves depending on where you're feeling it most. Bend it, you can hold it there, whatever you need to do to stretch out your calves a little bit. My favorite stretch is up next, my hip flex. So here we go, I'm gonna crisscross over and the leg that's behind, I'm gonna pop out. Really can feel that stretching through my hips. Let's go a little bit deeper so we crisscross over and pop out. Good, good, good. Hopefully, you felt that workout throughout your leg. That was the intent, at least. Stretch those 
glutes. Pull it up. I'm going to sit down and do that figure four seated position. So all you do with that is crisscross one leg over. And I like to, you're watching here, just push up a little bit more. That just deepens it just a bit more for me. So I put my hands down and really push and that, that drives that, that hip stretch. Other side, push and up. I'm going to finish with a downward dog calf stretch and that will be pretty much it for that. So here we go, you get in a good downward dog position, you start plank, push yourself up. If you need to walk in a minute, you can. And again, go back to that pedaling of your, of your calves. Just finish up with a good whole body stretch here. Y'all, thank you so much for spending your time with me. Hope you enjoyed it. A little bit different than what I normally do, but I had fun with you. Come back and see me soon.